Hey, I'm Nora Jones, and I'm at Amoeba, and this is What's in My Bag. I'm gonna show you this album that I love. She's an Ethiopian pianist, and she was a nun. She just died last year in 2023, and she was 99 years old. She played all these beautiful compositions, and I've heard her a lot in the last few years, I feel like with streaming and reissues, she's been circling, circling the air a little more. On the back, she has the song title and then a whole description of the song. I've never seen that on an album before. The Homeless Wanderer. The homeless wanderer plays his, on his flute in the middle of the wilderness as he fears for his life. At night in the mountains, when people and animals rest, you can hear the song of him, the small wanderer's flute as he dwells alone and far from home. I mean, that is kind of poetry. And I just, the music is so beautiful and this on the back is just so beautiful. Next, I have Blossom Deary. Do I love you? Oh my, do I? Honey, did I do? She's one of my favorite jazz singers. I don't have any of her on vinyl, so I was excited to get this. The thing I love about her is she's an incredible piano player also, and she can really deliver a ballad like very few. I think her, Shirley Horn, this has the song More Than You Know on it, which I really love. I got the new Britney Howard album because I love her and I really loved her last album. This is called What Now? And I know her drummer, Nate Smith, and I'm just excited. She always has an incredible band and she's a great songwriter. And she's just very cool. I got Talking Book by Stevie Wonder because this is one of my favorite albums in high school. It's just a classic, classic Stevie. Every song is my favorite on here. When I hear this album, it like, it definitely brings me back to being 17 years old. Yeah, I'm gonna go live that life again. <laughs> I think my favorite song when I was 17, which I actually believed all the words to, was I believe when I fall in love, it will be forever. <laughs> Very romantic song for a 17 year old. I believe when I fall in love with you, it will be forever. I got this Les McCann album, Never a Dull Moment. live album from coast to coast 1966 to 1967. I love his piano playing. It's it's soulful and kind of funky and it's not straight jazz. It's just it's just pure feeling, you know? If you ever watch that video of compared to what with him. Everybody now trying to make it real compared to what Come on baby. It's just it's like electrifying, <laughs> so it's the best. I got R.E.M. out of time because this was my favorite album when I was in seventh grade. That's me in the corner. I actually had it on cassette tape and um, my mom and I took a road trip when we moved from Texas to Alaska in seventh grade. And um, 
there were only three cassettes that she would listen to that I also would listen to, and this was one of them. Shiny, happy people holding. Shiny, happy people holding. I went ahead and got Jolene by Dolly Parton. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Please don't take him just because you can. And it also has I Will Always Love You on this album. So it's funny because I, I love Dolly so much and I feel like I know her music so well, but there's actually so much of her music that I don't know still because she's put out so much music. And um, of course I know all the hits, but I don't know if I know every song on this album. So I'm excited to check it out. Well, I got the Tony Bennett, Bill Evans album. Bill Evans was always my favorite piano player growing up. Um, when I got into jazz, it was all Bill Evans all the time. Young and foolish. I got to see Tony Bennett live when I was in eighth grade. My mom took me to see him in Fort Worth, Texas. And then when I was in college, I think, I found this album, which combines two of my favorite musicians. It's just so beautiful. And I heard the story, What as, as I heard it, the story was that Tony Bennett wanted to make an album with Bill Evans and Bill Evans didn't want to back up a singer or something and Tony convinced him to do it. And it's all solo piano, it's just piano and voice. It's, there's no band on it, it's just a really beautiful album. Young and Foolish is one of my favorite. I think my favorite one, which is also a song that Bill Evans did a lot with his trio, but it's so beautiful, this version with Tony, Some Other Time. It's one of the most heartbreaking standards and, and so beautiful. So this is a good one. We'll catch up some other time. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Oh,